done a whole bunch of topics throughout the year already, right? We've done a lot of different topics. And each one of them is kind of like the mathematics of understanding a certain sphere of reality. Um, understanding all the patterns of relationships that sort of connect a bunch of different ideas together. So I want to see if you can remember these, because we've done algebra and geometry earlier this year. We introduced algebra to help us understand the patterns and relationships between particular kinds of things. What did algebra let us work with? Does anyone remember? Hand up. Anyone? Yeah, Frank. Numbers. Okay. Algebra helped us work with numbers, but it's not just any numbers. I mean, in some sense, mathematics, all of it has numbers in it. There's a particular kind of number that algebra helps us work with. Rinesh? Okay. We introduced this idea of pronumerals, which if you remember, pronumerals are a bit like pronouns. You know what pronouns are? Like yes. he, she, etc. It's a word you put in place of, you know, a proper noun, right? In place of, you substitute it. So what's a pro-numeral? What is a pro-numeral? Yeah, Nikhil, you had your um, head up. Oh. Like a letter that substitutes for another number that's unknown. Very good, precisely. In fact, can I just repeat that? It's a letter that substitutes, that stands in the place of another number. And the reason we do that, the reason we have X's and Y's and A's and B's is because we don't know what those numbers are. We can still work with them. So, if you want to finish off this sentence, right? Algebra is the mathematics of unknown numbers. Numbers you don't know their value of, but you can still work with them, which is great. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if you can fit the pattern. Geometry isn't about <laughs> unknown numbers, usually. Geometry is about patterns or relationships between what kinds of objects? What kinds of... This is an easy one, actually. 3D. 3... 2D. Okay. Geometry is the mathematics of 3D. Okay, I think a better, more general way of saying it is shapes, right? And those shapes could be 2D or 3D. We haven't looked at 4D or 5D yet, but you could, okay? So algebra is the mathematics of unknown numbers, or numbers you don't know. Geometry is the mathematics of shapes and figures. Now, what's probability the mathematics of? I've got three words for you that I love very much, and they're very much part of your everyday experience, okay? Probability is the mathematics of... Hmm, anyone want to suggest? Christian. Okay, chance actually is my first word. What are the chances, okay? Um, chance is a good word. Someone want to give me another, Jeremy? Bets. Bets, okay. When you're not sure about whether something's going to happen, it might or it might not, when you don't know what the chances are, you can bet on it, okay? Now, this idea of betting and chances leads me to my last two words. Which is, if you don't know something's going to happen, this is really about uncertainty, right? Now that's kind of weird, because in mathematics we love to have things that are certain. It's like, look, here's a program rule, tell me what its value is, and you can tell me what it is with certainty. But the whole point of probability is that not everything in life is certain. Some things you're like, I don't know if it's going to be this or that. Right? Uh, what's the opposite of uncertain? When you're not uncertain or something, when you're like, okay, you can say certain. That's a bit, that's a bit boring though. I'm going to say confidence, right? Confidence. Because here's the thing, right? This morning I woke up and I was like, okay, what should I wear to work today? Um, what sh yeah, I don't have that many choices, right? Now. Um, should I should I wear lots of different layers? Should I wear you know a really thick shirt, a thin one? I could have confidence that I could wear something that would be reasonably suited to the weather because I looked up the probability of today's weather, weather right? And it said, okay, the forecast is supposed to be 27 degrees, roughly. That's it's on the warm side, okay? So, therefore, I use this idea of probability to be confident about what's going to happen during the day, okay? Chance, uncertainty, confidence. Language allows us to describe things and it allows us to describe them with accuracy so we can work with them. Okay, so I've got uh, actually one, two, three, four, and a fifth uh, phrase, word, that I'm going to give to you. So let's talk about these, right? In the realm, in the sphere of probability, when we talk about an experiment, we don't just mean like in science what an experiment is. An experiment is just simply when you actually carry out, uh, I've got actually the words here, right? When you carry out a situation, That involves chance, Curry. right? Carry out a situation. Carry. So, Curry. Carry. <laughs> carry out a situation. Yeah, I don't know how you would carry out a situation. Um, so, 
For example, that might be taking a die and rolling it. That would be an experiment, okay? It's a situation that involves chance. You know, okay, well, let's give it a go. Now, an event or an outcome is what results after an experiment. So, if we want to stay with this idea, this experiment of rolling a die, right? What might be a possible event or a possible outcome? That could occur. What event has occurred here? Have a look. It's a two, right? You'd call that a two. Uh, there are lots of other things that are possible. You could roll a two, or a four, or a five, or a six, etc. Okay. All of these are called events or outcomes. Now, lots of experiments. The the main kind we're going to be interested in are what we call random. Okay. So, a random experiment is where all of the events or outcomes, all events or outcomes, if they're all equally likely to happen, as you'd hope if you're using a die, right, and it's a fair die, then all events and outcomes have an equal chance. They're equally likely. Okay? So, we know what an experiment is. That's what happens when you do something, basically. An event or outcome is what happens at the end of the experiment. Random experiments are where all of those events or outcomes are the same chance. One last phrase I want to give you. And it's the one we're going to focus on in this lesson. It's a weird phrase, which is why I've left it to the end. It's what we're going to look at. The phrase is, if you can't quite see it, sample space. Sample space. Sample space means, what are all the different events or outcomes that could possibly happen in this experiment. Let me repeat that and I'll write it for you. What are all the possible events or outcomes in any given experiment? Okay, so this is all possible events in an experiment. Okay, so most of the time it's pretty easy to identify what each of these features are. For example, coming back to our die, what is the sample space of rolling a die, okay? Well, we already listed out like some of the events or outcomes that could happen, but if I want all of them, what would I do? Yeah, Nikhil. You like do rolls one, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Okay, now just write that for me underneath your die, okay? <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the sample space for rolling a die, right? That's the sample space for rolling a die. 